Reporter Kale Williams joins me now. And Kale, great story there. First question for you. You talk about the cultural and the economic impacts of salmon here. What about the ecological as well? Yeah, I mean, they play a really important role in the ecosystem. Salmon, they go out to sea. They spend about one to five years out there. They fatten up. They're eating all the stuff they need to eat. Yeah. And then they swim back to their spawning grounds where they die and they take all those nutrients and they leave them there. And you know, and those are important for animals that scavenge on their carcasses and for the environment itself. A key link in the chain of how the whole system works there really. Exactly. And then also when people think salmon and think impacts, they often look to the Snake River and dams as well. What's happening there right now? Yeah, so there was a lawsuit filed in 2021. This was filed by a bunch of environmental groups and some tribes that sued the federal government over the impacts of these dams. That litigation is in mediation now, and a leaked document that came out just last month said that the federal government was willing to provide up to a billion dollars to tribes mm. to offset some of the hydropower that'd be lost with other renewables in the area. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that these dams are gonna be breached anytime soon, mm -hmm. because there are other impacts that a lot of people who are against breaching the dams worry about, navigation, irrigation, those types of things, and to actually breach the dams would take approval by Congress, so not happening anytime soon. Okay, something I'm sure we'll be watching here as well. And What's coming tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to take a step back and look at the Endangered Species Act from a wider lens. We're going to take the 10,000 foot view and really ask, you know, for all the strife, for all the conflict, for all the fighting, is the Endangered Species Act working? And if it's not, how can it be changed to be better? Great. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Kale. We'll see you that tomorrow. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the declining salmon numbers and the work being done to try and restore them? Share your thoughts and questions with us. Kale will work to answer your questions during our wrap up segment on Friday. Email the story at kgw.com or call and leave us a voicemail 503 226 5090.